Measuring air quality is a highly specialized science given the billions of microscopic and invisible particles in the air that linger and each need to be identified, classified and carefully studied for what threshold is harmful or lethal to human health. And NASA is more than glad to give us a lift in providing instrumentation and keeping us to speed with current technologies such as the Airborne and Science Investigation of Asian Air Quality Science Mission that our Claisel Pardilia hashes over in this report. Ellen still covers her nose and mouth with face mask whenever she leaves the house for work. Kasi po yung pollution, yung alikabok at saka yung pusok ng ano kalsada, hirap huminga. Katag. Na nasinghot mo. Tapos nangangati yung lalamunan mo, tapos inuubo agad ako. Ellen's spice pollution has become a part of the life of traffic enforcer Alvin. Bilang traffic enforcer po, nasa gitna po kami, kaya masasalo po namin lahat ng mga usok na mga sasakyan. Masasanay at masasanay ka talaga. According to the Manila Observatory, 7 million people worldwide die each year due to air pollution. Among these figures are Filipinos. In the Philippines, that's about 100 people per 100,000 people die each year due to air pollution. The health department said lung cancer can be caused not only by smoking but also by air pollution. Talam din natin na may contribution ng air pollution. Pangunahin ding daylan sa mga respiratory diseases. The Department of Environment and Natural Resources has over 138 air quality stations across the country. However, this isn't enough to fully understand the extent and severity of air pollution in our country. That is why the Philippines is participating in a scientific research flight led by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration of the United States. This is called the Airborne and Satellite Investigation of Asian Air Quality Science Mission. From February 1 to 15, two research aircraft will fly over the Philippines. Our team has boarded one of these two flying laboratories. This is the DC-8 aircraft, a flying laboratory of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. This will fly over Metro Manila, Ilocos Norte, Cebu, and Palawan to collect air samples. On board are modern technologies that will measure, identify, and study air pollution in various locations in the country. And if you take this DC-8 low altitude, you're getting the air molecules themselves. And as they go through and they go through a particular piece of the air, they'll cap off that air cylinder and then they'll store that air cylinder and analyze it. The researchers aim to collect and analyze various types of gases, such as carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide, along with small particles like particulate matter and meteorological variables like temperature, humidity, and wind speed. By studying these components, scientists can gain insights into the composition and behavior of air pollution in different locations. This comprehensive approach allows for a more thorough understanding of air quality and its impact on human health and the environment. We can provide direct measurements of how much pollution is coming from different sources and that's the, one of the primary inputs to the air quality forecasting models. In addition to pollution from industries, vehicles, and various sectors, this study can also identify transboundary pollution originating from other countries. NASA is working in collaboration with the DENR, Philippine Space Agency, and other experts to integrate data collected from aircraft, satellites, air quality models, monitoring, and research observations. We have ground-based instruments that actually measure air quality. What this mission is going to do is measure what's in between. We don't know how, uh, how the particulates and the different pollutants that are being emitted actually transport and interact with each other in between. We'd like to understand the interaction between pollutants, um, greenhouse gases, and climate change as well. The study results will be used by the DENR to formulate policies to reduce air pollution. They also aim to disseminate information to the public and other government agencies on how to address the issue. What we are wanting to do with this mission is understand all that is going on as we it's seen from space. We need to understand in order to have policy and regulation 
that is evidence-based regarding public health, regarding industrial compliance, regarding, of course, the general ecosystem uh, preservation and conservation. That we're the DNR believes the Philippines' participation in this study is not only about tapping into advanced technologies from other countries, but also about enhancing collaboration and data sharing with other nations. Malaysia, South Korea, and Thailand will also participate in the research flight in the coming weeks. Hazel Pardilia from the National TV for a new and better republic.